Since its first edition in 1980, the Dietary Guidelines for Americans has consistently recommended limiting saturated fat, including coconut oil. Coconut oil was characterized as an artery-clogging fat because it is a predominantly saturated fat that ostensibly raises total and LDL cholesterol, which leads to heart disease. However, no studies have shown that coconut oil is responsible for adverse fatal or non-fatal cardiac events. Also, coconut oil accounted for less than 1% of edible oil consumption in the United States in the 20th century and could not have explained the rise in coronary artery disease. The important dietary fat studies conducted by U.S. investigators from the 1950s to the 1980s that led to the dietary recommendations to limit fat and saturated fat equated solid fat to saturated fat and did not study natural sources of saturated fat separately from hydrogenated oils and fats with trans fats, which were consumed widely throughout the U.S. in the 20th century. Trans fats are now known to cause cardiovascular disease and have been nearly eliminated from the U.S. food supply. Although studies reported that replacing saturated fat with polyunsaturated fat lowered total cholesterol levels, no studies showed that doing so reduced mortality from all causes or from cardiovascular disease. The so-called saturated fats are a heterogeneous group. If one compares the ratios of saturated, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated fatty acids of the so-called saturated fats, it is obvious that coconut oil contains the largest percentage of saturated fat at 83 grams per 100 grams. However, most of these are medium-chain fatty acids, predominantly lauric acid, a highly antimicrobial substance. Medium-chain triglyceride oils have been used for the therapeutic and nutritional benefits in all age groups since the 1960s, with new indications emerging over the past two decades. Coconut oil is so unique that results of studies using lard or palm oil should not be used to make assumptions about the effects of coconut oil. In fact, lard has more monounsaturated than saturated fat at 41 grams per 100 grams and should be reclassified as such. To perform our analysis, searches were conducted of PubMed.gov, the Cochrane Library, and other review articles using the terms coconut oil and cholesterol to find coconut oil clinical trials of at least three weeks duration that were reported between 1985 and 2024. This slide shows the criteria used to arrive at 25 full-text articles reporting complete lipid profile results for the 26 studies used in our analysis. The 26 studies shown on the slide were analyzed with all studies combined and were further analyzed according to short, medium, and long duration. This slide summarizes the results for each of the 26 studies arranged by duration. The studies were quite heterogeneous regarding participant selection, amount consumed, duration, and study design. This slide shows the average differences from baseline to the end of the coconut oil test period for total LDL, HDL cholesterol, and triglycerides for all studies combined and for each study duration. This graph summarizes the following observations. Total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol results were variable, but neither had an increase of more than 0.8% from baseline for any study duration, which suggests that total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol are not reliable lipid measures. HDL cholesterol increased for all study durations, and triglycerides decreased for all study durations. This summary table shows that there was a wide range of average baseline values, final values, and average differences in lipid parameters while consuming coconut oil. Standard deviations were also quite large in many studies, most prominent in those of short duration, suggesting that there is wide variability in response among individuals that could result in a large increase or decrease in lipid values. It is misleading to declare that coconut oil increases total cholesterol and LDLC when there is so much variability in the data. Our analysis suggests that increases or decreases in lipid values may be transient and return to baseline as the individual's metabolism adjusts to the change in diet. In summary, our analysis shows that coconut oil has a strong tendency to raise HDL cholesterol regardless of study duration, which thereby decreases all HDL lipid ratios, indicating that coconut oil is a heart-healthy oil. Furthermore, no studies have shown that coconut oil increases the incidence of heart disease. Based on this analysis of 26 studies, the recommendation to avoid consuming coconut oil due to its effects on lipid parameters is not justified. Thank you for your kind attention.